Hey, which star are you going to? I'm going to this one. Hey everybody, welcome back to more Mass Effect. I'm Slime Madison. Last time, we took out the first two systems in the Hades Gamma Cluster, and this time, we go to the third, and also probably find some other one along the way to take care of. But we start off by going to Dis. Uh, got Jartar. Now, this is actually a very interesting system in the lore of the series. Um, though I don't think it's something we'll see for a while. Um, and for some reason, it didn't want to let me zoom out. So I just got an egg instead. Um, I think it's around here. Uh, but there's something that's uh, talked about later on in the series called the Leviathan of Dis. Um, but it's a while until we get to see that. Very snowy. We are like right at the northern edge of the map. Sending it, we've got some animalies. Got the turn around, and we keep her moving. So, yeah, um, a lot of things of just it is something that is important much later on in the series, uh, but. It is something to still know. It might be something that in lore isn't discovered until later in the series, but I don't actually remember. Uh, as for what it actually is, that's a spoiler. So, nothing about that. I just wanted to mention that it is a thing, because it is a neat little thing. Something to look forward to when I upload episodes of Mass Effect 2 and 3 in like three years. It won't be that ridiculous, I don't think. Uh, my tentative plans are, after this, finally doing Trails of Cold Steel 2. Um, probably it would be this, Trails of Cold Steel 2. Um, I know I eventually am... I have some other side projects that won't be, like, main LP series that I'd be tackling later on, but those would be uploaded concurrently with these ones uh, with the main series um, so I want to include those in that list uh, I know trails yeah trails of cold steel 2 um, xenoblade 1 maybe xenoblade 3 probably eventually um, some other games that I was gonna get. octopath I've been thinking about for a while but not sure entirely um, Hello, hello, hello. You're being very rude. Please go away. Uh, one thing that I have been looking at for a while is Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, that one is just a very weird game to let's play. Uh, just because it is the three separate stories in the same game. I... I had stuff recorded for it, even while I was doing, uh, P5. Uh, as I was recording Royal, there were times when I was like, you know what, I'm really in a recording mood, I don't go and also record some Three Houses. I probably, just because of how old all that is, will have to... I mean, not so I'll want to redo probably in that kind of thing because really the plan with that series was I was going to uh, gonna play all three halves at the same time um, and I might do that as well when I do hopes uh, three hopes which I would do after houses uh, after all that was done but again I probably am going to want to do to redo that whole thing, um, as annoying as the DLC and that is. Uh, especially since now I do have a little bit more experience with weird games, such as, or weird games to LP, such as Triangle Strategy. 
Uh, but the thing is that I really can't do too many cutaways with something like Three Houses because the story is different enough at times. Um, while it is all the same beats, there's still a different dialogue, there's still small details that are different between all of them. So, well, so this is one of the crime bosses that we took out for Helena Blake. So, that's what this system's all about. But yeah, uh, Three Houses is just a weird game to LP. I really like it. Um, it is a very good tactical RPG, and I'm a big fan of tactical RPGs, so that is a benefit to me. Um, but yeah, it's just... So, it's a weird game to Let's Play, but one that I, of course... As I've been talking about for the past few minutes, do eventually plan to let's play. Um, and I have a lot, like, it's deep planning, because again, I've gotten a lot of stuff. So actually, no, with that, um, before doing Trails of Cold Steel, I actually was going to have Three Houses be a series, but... Uh, so what I what I do for my recording is I, I use an Elgato. Um, so... It, and I've used this for a while. It's uh, just the normal HD60. Uh, oh god, HD60. And what I normally have is I have the the audio for my live com and the game uh, audio and game visual separated. Um, just so, because uh, a lot of times, especially during real big cutscenes, I am a little bit noisy at times. Um, so, you know, in in cases like that, I like to just, you know, cut out the audio so that you don't hear me, like, opening up a can of soda or uh, anything like that. Or maybe eating some food, getting up, walking around a little bit. Uh, um, you know, I've had a few times when I've had family interrupt me when I'm recording, and I don't want that to be in the footage, because that just seems a little bit unprofessional. Um, turns out I had recorded a about 70 hours worth of three houses footage. I had completed one of the paths entirely, recorded it all, and I had gotten pretty far in... One of them I had gotten very far in, the other one I had gotten a decent bit more so I had finished the Black Eagle path, and I had... Um, I had finished Black Eagles, I had gotten about halfway through on Golden Deer, and Blue Lions, I was a little bit further behind um, than the rest of them. So I'm going in, I you know, I just need to clear up some room on my on my hard drive, because I use an external hard drive just to hold recordings, which could possibly explain why sometimes I've had a little bit of difficulty with uh, things corrupting on my, on my video edit. And I go through, and it knows, okay, there's no live com audio. Or there, there was live com audio. But even when I muted it, I could still hear the noise that I was making in the background. So for the entirety of this 70 hours that I have in three houses, you can hear it completely in the background. Uh, you know, while the while the intro cutscenes are playing, while any cutscene is playing, while people are talking for a while. And I don't think that that's not usable footage for me. So that was all the way back. Actually, that may have actually been before Xenoblade 2. No, I was I was recording uh, that as Xeno. I, th I started that version. I was recording as Xenoblade 2 was coming out uh, as my let's play. Um, so, basically just lost all that footage for nothing, and since that point I haven't gotten nearly as far in any of it, because it is, um, because again, I would want to have basically all of them uploaded concurrently. Concurrently? Simultaneously? One of the two. And I just, I couldn't do that. 
as it was. So, yeah. I... Someday on this channel, you will see Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'll guarantee you that. But it's not gonna be for Empty. a while, I don't think. Someone must have shut down all systems, except basic life support. This mission is actually really fun. Uh, as Rex and Kane said, if somebody set that trap. This whole place could be wired. Not much fighting to go on here. It's just a very silent area. So, just to make sure we ain't missing anything, we're gonna shoot everything. What in doubt, just shoot it. Because then we won't get affected by the explosion. If we're far enough away from the explosion, we do not get hit by said explosion. Yeah, uh, so eventually see, I expect to see that. Uh, as for the New Game Plus stuff on um, Persona 5 and on Xenoblade 2, uh, whoops, uh, Persona 5 I can get at any moment. Those are like two quick episodes. As for the Xenoblade 2, uh, that I plan to just eventually redo that series. Um, of all the Let's Plays that I've done, that's the one I'm... It's the only one that I'm not happy with, the quality of. Um, I just... I don't like how it's turned out. Um, but, yeah. Jacob's not going to make it. His brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. There's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity. It's what he would want. I'm more worried about Julia now. She's showing signs of severe depression. I gave her some meds that should help, but I better warn the captain. That machine's keeping him alive. No brain activity. He's dead. This body is nothing but an empty shell. No point leaving him there like a vegetable. Your call, Commander. But maybe we should wait until we know more about what's going on before we do anything. <laughs> This is a great storytelling area, uh, this ship here, the Worthington. So we got someone who is effectively brain dead from probably accidentally getting spaced for a little bit. They say Jacob's gone. They say his brain isn't functioning anymore. And they want to shut off his machines. But Jacob's the only thing in the world that matters to me. I don't know how to help him, but it's tearing me up inside. I just feel so helpless, so damn angry. Dr. Smith gave me some meds to calm down, but I didn't take them. I can't. Not until I figure out a way to help Jacob. I won't give up on him. I won't. So we have Jacob, who's essentially gone brain dead from maybe being spaced, and we have Julia, who seems to have not taken her meds. Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to... Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you- Oh, good lord, that did a lot. So yeah. We don't really know exactly what happened. But... You did the right thing, Commander. It's just a sad story here, and it's optional. You don't really get much reward out of it, but it's just really good storytelling. You know, you got someone who, you know, someone who they love, and they're essentially dead, but can't really... It feels like murder to fully take them off it. I don't know. I... I haven't had to 
deal with anything like this myself. And honestly, I never hope to. Uh, maybe that's a little bit selfish to say. It could be. But that's what I think. So. I don't know. That's the warden thing taken care of, and I believe all of- Oh no, 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 no. There's also Han over here in Gemini Sigma. Um, Han and Ming, of course, Chinese dynasties. Um, they've got- the Chinese history is vaguely uh, mythological, especially if you look at the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, um, and how that is very apocryphal. And if you couldn't tell by the Persona 5 series, I'm really into mythology. Um, no, let's. We can pop in here, that's fine. Uh, let's go with our two shotgunners. That's my, uh, that's my brilliant sound effect work. Got, uh, oh, is that the other one? Or, I don't know, might be. Got master hacking. Uh, we can just explore around here and then just tackle that next time. Uh, just tackle the hideout next time, because, I mean, 15 minutes is, it's not like that's unreasonable. I did have the one episode in Trails of Cold Steel that was only... Uh, after editing about seven minutes, I believe, um, it was, I, I do remember exactly what happened, it was a, the fight itself took me about half an hour, I think, um, it was a really weird boss, uh, really tanky, uh, only really took damage to arts, um, so, I had cut out most of the battle, but I might have had to like leave at that point, which is why it was only the few minutes long. My channel has really weird upload times because there's the that seven minute thing. There was uh, sometimes the the wrestling stuff is pretty short, uh, like three four minutes. Uh, and that, usually they're, those are around 10 to 15. Uh, obviously the Let's Plays, they usually try to uh, aim for about... Uh, those, those usually try to aim for about 20, give or take a few. Uh, if it's like 18 minutes when I am ready to do something, I'll probably end it there. But like, even 17 minutes feels a little bit too early. 15 minutes feels early. So I try to aim for like a 9... Usually I try to aim for like 19 to 22 minutes, roughly, but then of course you have things such as the last episode of Royal. Because uh, I think I wanted to end that exactly on episode 200 or something like that. Um, right? What's that? I think it was exactly 200 with that. Persona 5 ended on. That last episode ended up being like two hours. So, yeah. Uh, I kind of just... I wonder why I don't get many views when I do inconsistent shit like this. Um, but, you know, I, it's fine, it's fine. I, while I do eventually want to make this a career, I know that that's not something that's realistic. And first things first, this is something that's for fun. Uh, I enjoy playing through these games. Uh, Let's Playing gives me a very good reason to play through games that I haven't for a while. Um, haven't played in a while. Uh, Mass Effect being one of those. Uh, honestly, if I wasn't left playing, I probably would just jump right into Mass Effect 2, maybe jump right into Mass Effect 3 even. But, you know, with doing a let's play, I have a reason to go back to Mass Effect 1. I have a reason to, uh, go play through stuff in, like, Triangle Strategy, uh, such as Roland's Path, which I wouldn't do otherwise. Um... When I actually, when I eventually get back to uh, redoing Xenoblade 2, uh, there's a lot of side stuff that we're doing, mainly like Ursula's quest, which is obviously something I have never done, but it is ridiculously long. 
Uh, you have things like in Persona 5 with things such as uh, Oda's confidant, which I would I would probably actually a little bit otherwise, but I wouldn't really prioritize it. I wouldn't be worried about the fact that I might miss on it. Uh, which I'm still very glad that I didn't miss anything with that, but you know what? You know what? We can go a little bit longer. It's fine. No, I just really enjoy Let's Playing. Um, as as of recording, it has been a little bit difficult for me at times. Um, just lots of work stuff, home stuff, just generally being very tired. <laughs> uh, but still, like, this is... Again, I, I do the Let's Plays mainly because it's fun. Uh, if I was in it just for, you know, lucrative career or whatever, then I would be a real big idiot. And that's not saying I'm not an idiot. I am still very dumb. But, you know, it's not the priority. There's a Krogan. Hello. Sir, if you could please not be there, I would appreciate it. Thank you for dying. Lots of Krogans here. Okay, Krogan is scary. They are very scary in Mass Effect 1. Probably the scare. You, you don't fight too many Krogans in the end. I didn't actually know. But it's really only in one that they are real terrifying. Not that they're not scary otherwise, but. Especially when you fight alongside someone like Rex. Yeah, you get to see the true extent of. What the Krogan are capable of. We also get to see the extent of what shotguns are capable of. Uh, because these guys are not standing much of a chance. And part of it might just be because this might be a little bit earlier of a mission than Rex's family armor. But, yeah. We are tearing through these guys. And, I mean, we're... We're still nowhere near that high level, honestly. Um, not like we're low level or anything, but we still have, you know, like tier 3, tier 4 equipment. Uh, there's stuff up to tier 10. So, yeah. Security you know shields. You don't get to have them anymore. Overload's really good. Uh, I don't believe it is a guarantee take out shields, but it does so much damage to them. Then obviously throw is pretty nice because it just incapacitates someone for a little bit. It's not a very long incapacitation, but it is at least something. Um, sabotage, probably the least useful of our skills right here, but yeah. Um, you have a shotgun, but luckily you have been missing quite a bit. There we go. It's kind of died. So yeah, uh, that is a another crime boss to take care of. We might as well go and loot his compound while we are at it. Because this game really encourages looting, because it is a traditional RPG. And RPGs really do love their looting. That is very true. Uh, let's just pop in there. Uh, another big amp. Uh, I will probably just redo my equipment between episodes. I won't bother you with that stuff. Um, and there's not too much equipment to redo, really. Uh, we are starting to get consistent level 3s where we've gotten... We're in the realm of level 4s, at least. We're starting to slowly pick up some of those. Uh, but... Especially when we start regularly getting like sevens and eights, then we make some ridiculous money, and uh, money does carry over a little bit between games. Uh, that's a big thing with Mass Effect is that there is carryover between the games, mostly story stuff. Uh, but for having, I believe it is over a million. Uh, by the time that you finish Mass Effect 1, you will start off Mass Effect 2 with a bit more money. Um, we will easily have a million, by the way. 
no shot that we don't. A million is nothing. So easy to get. But with that taken care of, we still do have a uh, hostile takeover. We gotta go into the Fortuna system. Which we will do next time? Maybe? What even is the Fortuna system? No idea. Let's go check where that is. Why not? It's not in here because these are both named after Chinese dynasties. Uh, Antaeus. There is Farinata. There is this. I just want to check if it's a system that we've been to yet. Yeah. Uh, if it's in a cluster that we've been to, rather. Because I wouldn't want to double check then. Okay. So when we get to Fortuna, we'll, we'll double check through there. But next time, we start tackling the third to last system before starting to go on our main mission. So until then, see you guys later.